Hello my YouTube friends, happy Monday. I am coming at you from my house today. I'm actually at home, I'm actually taking a day off. Round of applause, round of applause, round of applause. Yes, she's taking a day off guys. So today is gonna to be fi uh, filled with filming YouTube content, cleaning up the house. I have a meeting very soon actually with an Instagram friend who is a big SciComm Instagrammer and we're gonna be doing a collaboration soon. So watch this space for that. And apart from that, I'm just gonna be taking it easy. I just want to film quite a bit of YouTube content so I can be a little bit ahead and I've got some video ideas that I want to try and execute today. So that's the plan for today but we will be back in the lab tomorrow and I need to figure out what I'm actually doing this week. I'm on holiday next week, we're going to Berlin. Woohoo! So I'm excited to actually leave Scotland and go on holiday which will be really really nice because when I last left the country it was to go to California which was for the conference but I haven't left the country since Covid kind of started to go on a holiday. So this will be very, very nice to get away. So next week's not going to really be filled with much work. So this week I need to plan what I need to do, get it done in the four days that I have and plan the rest of May as well because I'm going to France at the beginning of June, guys. I haven't spoken about this in such a long time. My France trip is going ahead and that is at the beginning of June for six weeks to do a project there. So I'm very excited for the France vlogs. But until then, I have a lot of work to do still. <sighs> I need to do some in-depth planning tomorrow morning, I think, to really figure out what I need to do and when I need to do it. Yeah, so for now I'm just going to enjoy the rest of my day and I'll see you guys at the university tomorrow. Morning guys, it's Tuesday. I honestly don't think Scotland is going to get warm this year. It's six degrees. It is absolutely freezing. I'm walking to the lab. I have a meeting at 10 with my supervisor. He was off last week on holiday. Was it last week? I think it was last week he was on holiday but now he has covid which is a shame and he's at home so we're doing our meeting online but it's basically just to go over my progress in the lab and so i can ask him questions about my next steps and stuff so i'm gonna go into the lab prepare for that meeting have the meeting plan my day plan my week because i'm not really sure what i'm doing this week excuse this angle it's absolutely terrible but i still get shy vlogging in public yeah i'll chat with you guys when i get into the lab Hi guys, I'm just having some breakfast and checking over my notes from my meeting with my supervisor. I'm not gonna lie, I always feel a little bit overwhelmed after meeting with my supervisor because I have so many like action points of what to do next and I have to try and schedule them all into my already existing plans and I have things to send him and yeah, after I meet with my supervisor, I just need a moment to kind of reflect on everything we spoke about, to try and absorb everything that we spoke about, remember everything, recap everything we spoke about. That's what I'm trying to do now while I have some breakfast. <laughs> Hello friends, happy Wednesday. I am in this little common area just now because I need to do some planning. I also came in early so I can finish my YouTube video to upload tonight. I'm always very last minute with my with my vlogs. Um, so I'm going to do that. I'm also going to do some intense planning before I start my day because I really need to figure out what I need to do for the rest of, well, until June when I'm going to France. Someone is watching me. Oh my god, I feel awkward. I'm going to come back in a second. Someone's looking at me through the window. Okay, the person is gone. So yes, I need to do some planning. Also, I need to book my accommodation for going to France at the beginning of June. Oh, there's been a few complications with putting contracts in place, with uh, communication, because my emails keep going to the host institute's spam inbox. So that's not very useful in terms of trying to organize the trip. But now that I know where the lab is, I'm going to book my accommodation and I'm just going to have to commit to it. I get really scared with uh, booking accommodation that I can't cancel because what if the plans change or what if my funding gets withdrawn or what if I don't end up going? All of the above is not going to happen, but you know, these are the thoughts that go on in my head. Um, so I really need to plan my work until I go to France as well because I really need to be focused and get a lot of stuff done. So I got samples to bring with me to go to France. A little update on how I'm feeling. As you will know from the last couple of vlogs, I have not been feeling great. Yesterday, I felt a bit more energized and alive. Today, I feel like I've gone back to square one again and I am incredibly tired, even though I had between seven and eight hours of sleep. And 
and yeah i i'm struggling a little bit again today but i'm just trying to be mentally resilient and strong and try and push through look at my to-do list get my to-do list done and go home so let's see how the day goes but i'm going to start off drinking my cup of tea finishing the youtube bits planning and then i will go into the lab also, something really sad happened yesterday. I dropped my AirPods Max and they've got scratches. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but there's scratches somewhere here. <sighs> and it's really sad because they were really expensive. <laughs> I guess it's not ruined the like sound quality or anything. It's just ruined the look of them. Sad times. It made me really sad yesterday, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> So I have showed this before, but this is my planner that I like to use for planning my work. And this is just my weekly spread here. So this is my plan for today. This is my lab work I have to do. I need to combine my vials from the LCMS analysis I did yesterday. I've got a parcel to collect. I need to check papers because I want to isolate a compound from my samples. I need to figure out how to do that. I've got vials under the nitrogen. I need to weigh them. I need to plan my next steps. I need to plan the rest of the month. And I've got a meeting later on. So... Yeah, there is a lot of planning to do today, not so much lab work, but I'm currently sitting and doing the planning part. So this is how I'm going to plan the month of May. I've just got my blank template in my digital journal. I'm first of all going to make it a little bit more colourful and then I'm going to fill in what I want to achieve every week before going to France at the beginning of June. Ah! <laughs> that's my planning all done so this is all just ready now for me to refer to each week to make my weekly plan like what i showed you before and guys i forgot to mention i'm going to berlin next week <laughs> so i just need to get through this week and then i'm on holiday and i'm going to germany to explore which will be very very exciting so I just need to power through this week i need to remind myself going on holiday i can get through the week it's fine <laughs> Planning just now has also given me so much peace of mind because I've got a lot more weeks until I go to France than I thought. So that's good. I've got this week. Next week I will not be working. So I've got this week, one, two, three, four. And then the 30th and 31st, that week, I will still be here because it'll be that weekend that I'm going to France. So I have, yeah, I have five weeks, which is all good. But I need to go and book an Airbnb. Oh my gosh. Or else at this rate, I'm going to have nowhere to stay when I go to France. <laughs> my flights now booked to go to France. Now I just need to book my Airbnb. I'm achieving a lot today. <laughs> That's my Airbnb booked too. Taking things off my to-do list. Ah, I feel a lot more chill now that I've sorted those things. Hello friends, happy Thursday. I'm walking to the lab. As you can see, there's beautiful blue skies. However, it is like six degrees, so it is deceivingly cold. I'm gonna go to the lab. I got a meeting this morning with a colleague and I am trying to decide whether to start my experiment that I was planning yesterday today or tomorrow because I am demonstrating this afternoon in the undergraduate labs. So that will start at two and we'll finish at five. So I don't have a full day of lab work. Well, I don't have a full day in the lab today. So I'm trying to think whether to start it or to try and like bash it all out tomorrow. I think I am gonna try and start it because once I start, I can like pause it until the next day. So at least if I start it today, I can continue it tomorrow. But yeah, that's my thoughts on my walk. Uh, someone is going to run me over. So I need to be careful. Uh, yeah, lovely day. Hopefully it warms up. Speak to you guys in the lab. Hello, I'm 
going to the undergraduate labs to supervise. Hopefully we're not there for the whole afternoon. I think they're finishing up their experiments today. Uh, the experiment went well this morning. I'll fill you in more about it tomorrow. Oh my God, so many stairs. But yeah, I am happy with how things went today. Hello, hello. So I am finished for the day. It's about quarter past five, I'm going home. I finished early in the undergraduate labs, about an hour early at four o'clock. So I went back to the office and I read the journal club paper for our journal club group meeting tomorrow, which was really interesting. It was about how a compound that had been isolated from a marine fungus can be used to treat epilepsy. So I'm all clued up on that for the journal club discussion tomorrow and I'm going to continue the solid phase extraction that I was doing today tomorrow on the rest of the sample because I only did half of the sample to test the method to see if it was good today and it was all fine, everything went well finally and I will purify the rest of the sample now that I know that the method works. Yeah, so I will tune in with you guys tomorrow when I'm back in the lab. the compound that I'm looking for is in here because it should appear as a yellow oil even though this is still a mixture but you can see it's got a yellow color oh I can't focus it's more yellow than green I would say anyway so I am going to predict my compound is in here hello friends I am coming at you from the car because I have now finished uni and I am on holiday so we had a group meeting and before group meeting I managed to finish up everything that I wanted to do for the week I did forget to make a plan for when I come back so I might go and do that as soon as I get home so it's there and I know exactly what I need to do on my first couple of days back is that my brother? no <laughs> uh, yeah so I am on holiday mode now and I'm ready to go to Berlin next week I will be vlogging the trip in Berlin so you should see that very very soon and oh, I just realized I also didn't mention about how I booked my flights and I booked my accommodation for the France project at the beginning of June. So that's also been booked. So there's been a lot of travel related stuff going on recently. But yes, I'm going to say goodbye now. Yeah, this time next week I will be in Berlin. How fun. Thank you so much again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's vlog and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.